The cranial cavity, the cranial cavity divide into three cranial fossae, the anterior cranial fossae, middle cranial fossae, and posterior cranial fossae. The anterior cranial fossa bounded anteriorly by the frontal bone and posteriorly by the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone. The bones that is found with anterior cranial fossa is the frontal bone. This is the frontal bone. The ethmoid bone, this area for the ethmoid bone. And the sphenoid bone, this is the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone. The characteristic findings here is this one is the anterior frontal crest or frontal crest, this one. This is, these two is the orbital plate of the frontal bone. The ethmoidal bone, this one, the elevated area, is the crista galli. Anteriorly, this one is the foramen cecum. Posteriorly, this area is the ethmoidal spine. Both sides of the cristagalli is the cribriform plates of the ethmoidal bone. The cribriform plate have foramina called cribriform foramina. The lesser wing of the sphenoid bone, this one, is the lesser wing. This is the anterior clinoid process. These two is the optic foramen. Between the optic foramen, this groove is called the prechiasmatic groove. And this one is part of the cella torsica, is the tuberculum cella. The middle cranial fossa is bordered anteriorly by the lizard wing of the sphenoid bone and posteriorly by the vitreous part of the temporal bone. The sphenoid bone it consists of two bones, the sphenoid bone and the temporal bone. The sphenoid bone here is the lesser wing. This one is the greater wing. And here from this side is the greater wing of the sphenoid bone. From laterally, this one is the greater wing. And the temporal bone, the petrus part, this one is the petrus. Well, this is the sequamus. Here and here. This is the sequamus. And this is the body of the sphenoid bone at all. Starting laterally, here is the greater or superior orbital fissure. Clear? Mm. Superior orbital fissure. From this side and this side. Superior orbital fissure situated between the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone and the greater wing of the sphenoid bone. Okay. This is the superior orbital fissure. After superior orbital fissure, this small foramina is the ro foramina rotundum foramina, or foramina rotundum, here and here. This is the foramina rotundum. This is the foramen ovale from two sides. And the last one is the foramen spinosum, here and here. Foramen spinosum. From the foramen spinosum, these grooves called the grooves for the middle meningeal artery. Here, groove for the middle meningeal artery. The middle meningeal artery passes through the foramen spinosum and divided into branch. Okay, foramen ovale is the passing for the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve. With this one for the V2, which is the maxillary branch, the foramen rotunda, will V1, our first branch of thalamic, pass through the superior orbital fissure. In addition to third cranial nerve, fourth cranial nerve. This one is the cella torsica, divide into tuberculum cella, hypophysial fossa, and dorsum cella. These two parts is the posterior clinoid process, and this is the anterior clinoid process. This foramen is the foramen lacerum. From this side and this side, foramen lacerum. 
on each side of the body of the sphenoid here is the carotid groove this one is the carotid groove here and here and this groove from the foramen lacerum is the groove for the superficial greater petrosal nerve this one this groove is for the greater petrosal nerve on the petrous part the petrous part have also this groove is for the superior petrosal sinus this groove for the superior petrosal sinus here and here the posterior cranial fossa the pons is the petrous of the temporal bone and the occipital the occipital divide into three parts this one is the basilar part of the occipital bone these two is the lateral parts of the occipital bone and these two is the sequamous part of the occipital bone the groove for the sinuses this one is the groove for the superior sagittal sinus this groove for the transverse sinus from side to side continue as the sigmoid sinus here is the sigmoid sinus groove for the sigmoid sinus this is groove for the sigmoid sinus this one the groove for the inferior petrosal sinus here and here from here to here is the groove for the inferior petrosal sinus and this one is for the superior petrosal sinus the foramen found here is this one is the internal acoustic meatus and this one and here is the jugular foramen lastly this one is the hypoglossal canal or hypoglossal foramen here is the foramen magna this elevated area is the internal occipital crest and this one is the internal occipital protuberance this one is the external occipital protuberance the pass nerve passing through these foramen this one is the 7 8 cranial nerve here jugular 9 11 12 9 10 11 plus the in, uh, internal jugular vein and the hypoglossal is the 12 cranial nerve okay here is called the clivus of the skull